don't you think it's astounding that our planet supports seven billion of us? And counting. Learning to survive in a crowded world is our biggest challenge. But there's one corner where we're already well on our way to adapting. Welcome to India. With 1.2 billion of us here, or looking to make the best possible livelihood, you've got to be very canny at finding your niche ahead of anyone else. And that can mean looking in the most unlikely of places. Take the Silver Beach on the northern edge of Mumbai. This barren strip of sand hardly suggests big opportunity. But 50 years ago, new arrivals from Rajasthan made a surprising discovery. This is the perfectly water, and this is the water. Anil's grandfather realized that fresh water on a beach made it perfect for growing the desert crops from back home. It is a sweet water, you know. Sea is a, a salty, and this is sweet. The sand-loving, bittersweet vegetable fenugreek, known as methi, immediately flourished growing its tasty sprouts in just three days. A solid family business was born. I really appreciate my grandfather because he gave me this business. Indian people, they love the fenugreeks because it is good for health, good for diabetes and uh, pregnant women. Today, there are 32 methi farmers here, many with four or five employees. And they've been granted a license to cultivate this municipal beach. Others have followed, providing services to the growing community. But the houses these recent arrivals have built on the sand are illegal. Father to one of the 40 families calling the beach their home is Rajesh. I'm the great person who stays next to the sea. This is my small beach apartment. Come inside, I will show you. He came here after falling for his wife, Savita. Khana bana rahi hu. Methi methi. Aapko khani hai. One day it was very nice day for me. I saw this girl. Then I thought in my mind that I will marry with this girl only. अब मैं थोड़ा एसी ऑन करती हूँ हाँ हमारा This is my daughter my dream is that my daughter will become a doctor Four year old Vashnavi has an 8 year old brother Harsh They've both been brought up on the beach unlike their father who grew up in his well to do parents apartment but then he fell in love my father told me, just get out now, just now. How you came inside, that type only you get out from this house. Don't come again to show me your face. Savita is from a poor family and has a limp from childhood polio. This was so unacceptable. Rajesh's father also made sure his son lost the job he'd secured him at Mumbai airport. My father told that officer that I will not be secure for my son now because he is married and I have to tell him to get lost from my house. Rajesh now works from home, so Savita expects him to do his fair share of the early morning chores. She is very angry with me because fire was not going on, that's why the water became very chilled. I should have done it, but I, was, I want to go for bring newspaper. No, my fire is not starting. <laughs> bus, 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 bus. Bus! My son is going to school now. Bye. 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 
Savita has a part-time job as a cleaner for a middle-class family in the city. But to earn a bit more on the side, she deals in the beach's homegrown speciality. Anil, Hajide. The family's main business, however, is doubling up their home as a local pub for the Meti farmers. Now already the quarter to eight and the customer always come over here at whatever time they want, they come and drinks and they go away. The only drink on offer is cane liquor. I keep the bottles over here only. But sometimes I have to hide it for cops. That's why I hide inside the bag. Rajesh doesn't have a liquor license and his illegal business has landed him in jail once already. It is very much big risk to selling the liquor. And if any state government will see, then it will be, my life will be fucked. Too much. Rajesh has few other options and so reckons the risk is one worth taking. Besides, right now, he has more immediate worries. There's a rumour that the local council, the BMC, are preparing for one of their periodic evictions of the families squatting on the beach. मेरे बिजनेस पे भी असर गिरता है। देख, लाइफ है। लाइफ में प्रॉफिट लॉस एक दूसरे का तो होते ही रहता है। वो तो सही बात। लेकिन अब तेरा नुकसान होगा तो फिर मेरा प्रॉफिट हो सकता है ऐसा मैं बोलता हूँ। हाँ। तू जाएगा तो फिर मेरे को स्पेस भी अच्छा मिल जाएगा। लेकिन उसपे तेरा भला होगा मेरा तो पूरा लॉस ही लॉस है ना मैं भी रहता हूं मैं काफी दिन से रहता हूं पहले बहुत कम लोग आते थे अभी ट्रिपल लोग हैं ट्रिपल चपोल लोग हैं इतना तो तुझे मालूम है कल आए जाएगा तो फिर दो और दो जन आएंगे तीन जन आएंगे फिर ऐसे बढ़ते जाएगा फिर हम लोग स्पेस भी नहीं मिले और जाना तो ठीक है 